Hmm. Uh. If you're not familiar, I do have a film room, which is the room we're in right now. This is where I film all of my short films, series, unboxing reviews, random topic videos, videos like this. You know, anything under the sun, I usually do film down here. This is where I have all my props, all the things a girl needs to make her videos. Okay? Mm-hmm. That... <sighs> This is leading us into the problem. I will be upfront and real with you for the first reason why I'm not in here a lot. Since 2016, I have not really made any series or short films. There's been one or two. It does kind of sting a lot to be down here with all my props and all my stuff. Like, oh wow, I wish I could make a series. Mm. Or, oh, I got a great idea for a short film. Ooh. You know? So it's just not the best feeling in the world to be down here surrounded by all this stuff. But besides that, there is an even bigger issue going on. <sighs> There's so many issues, honestly. <laughs> they just keep piling up. I don't even know how to start this without sounding absolutely insane. I think this is a good place to start because Lord help me. There have been little things happening in my room ever since I got my room, but they have been so, so small and insignificant. I never think twice about any of it. My room before it was my film room was actually a storage room where I kept all of my old stuffed animals from my childhood. So in 2014, when I wanted to do this full-time professionally, <laughs> I cleaned this room out and it is what it is today. The first thing that I found when I cleaned out my room was actually a mummified mouse. Now for most people this would be um, shooking. For me it was very exciting. I still have it. I love it. I have it in a jar. It's fun. I like that type of stuff, so, you know, I didn't take it as a warning sign like I should have. In the past year, I have gotten to the point, it is so hard to film down here that it's not even worth it. I get so annoyed at the thought of having to film a video, which is really honestly devastating for me because I love making videos with my whole heart even if it's just an unboxing or a review. Oh my god, you guys can't even see me, but I just found out that I have 48,000 subscribers. Literally what? And I have 10 million 300 plus views. <laughs> what does this even mean? I'm so Happy, how did this even happen? I don't know. Thank you so much. I love you guys with all my heart. You're the reason that I do this. You're the reason I do everything in life. You guys are my whole entire universe. Oh my god, I love you guys so much. Like, I love this stuff. So it's really disheartening when my first thought when I have to make a video is I do not want to. For some reason, I can never get videos to work out. Whether it'll be like a light will go off. Or the footage will be so fuzzy, the audio will just be like, bzzz, like the whole way through. In the back, I have a furnace in the winter months, which is most of the months in Canada. It comes on about every 30 minutes. There's like a loud noise for one full minute, and then it's off for another 30 minutes. But when I'm filming, sometimes it'll go off three times within five minutes, and it's just like, I don't even know why. I don't. I can't understand it. I've gotten to the point where I've had to wait for a warmer day and then be able to turn my furnace off for like an hour just so I could film a video. I feel like something's trying to get me not to film, which makes me sound psychotic. There's little things in my room that I can handle, like how all my taxidermy stuff is usually wrecked. Like it'll be pushed over or fallen over or like messed up in some way or another. You know, I can crack that up too. It was probably my cats. I would say in the past, did you hear that? So it's always little things like I'm not able to import the footage to my computer for one reason or another, which is all stuff you can chalk up to just being like, okay, well, I got this SD card like three years ago. But like, it's only when I film stuff down here. The last video that I filmed down here was a unboxing review. I don't know how to properly word this. I flew into a psychotic rage for about an hour 
because I could not figure out how I wanted the lighting for the video. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm the calmest person in the world. It's very easy for me to get frustrated in making videos, but this, this was like next level. I literally watched the footage back and I had to delete it because I could not even imagine me saying the stuff I did or do the things that I did. This leads me into why I decided to make this video. Last night was my breaking point to where I was like, okay, this stuff is not making sense anymore. I actually have video footage of everything that happened last night because I was texting my friend Ellen and I was just like, yo, I'm gonna record this because I have never had such a bad feeling in my entire life. I've never felt such bad energy and just like a bad vibe. Let me just let these videos play for you. Okay, you can't even see me because it's so dark. There has been some crazy stuff happening with toys that make noises when you press them, just randomly making noises. And there's one going off right now and I have literally no idea where it is. I don't even know what's happening anymore. I don't know why this is happening, but Mmm, what a good time. Oh my god, okay, so it's coming from my basement film room, which I have not been in in weeks, so um, <laughs> I'm about to die. I'm dead ass, like, scared for my life. Why did it stop? Oh my god. So I'm standing here and it's literally not even playing anymore. I am leaving and never coming back. <laughs> I am like genuinely horrified right now. I don't even know what I'm to expect in here at this point. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking for. I don't even know what's happening. Oh my god. So it's a fire truck. Does this one make noise? I do not want to get in this closet right now. Oh lord. Does this fire truck make noise? No. Does this one? This one doesn't. This one doesn't make noise? No. No, it's a cop. No, it's lights. I don't even know what is making that noise! I don't even know what's happening. It was a fire truck noise. But I don't even have a fire truck! <laughs> what is happening? So, um... Yeah, that happened. What does somebody even say in this situation to make them not sound crazy? Like, I don't, I don't think that there is anything they can say. I don't know, man. I just wanted to make this video just to like get this out there just in case it gets worse I will update you guys but I physically just hate being down here and I love my film room it has so many of my favorite things in it and like my collections and all that stuff and it has like so many sentimental pictures of like me and my family and all that stuff down here and my friends it has all the stuff that I've gotten in the mail from you guys and all that stuff like I love this stuff and I love making videos so it really honestly upsets me that I feel so weird down here you hear that? Why did my flash just go off? I just turned it on. Oh my god. Okay, as you can tell, there's a lot of stuff happening. You can hear it. This is my film room down in the basement. This is August 13th, by the way. Different day. And you can hear it. Right? <sighs> Let's figure this out. I'm kind of shook that my flash just turned off as soon as that thing started playing. I don't know what's happening, but... Yeah, Norm. Crazy. I'm honestly <laughs> sick and tired of it at this point. Okay, it's still playing. You can still hear it. I'm at the front of the door and it has just stopped like it did last time. Also, I should say, like, this is 100% not fake. I do not have any, contr <laughs> any controllers or anything. It's coming 
from in here? <gasps> it's this cocker! Oh my god. That's so weird. Wow! At least this time I figured it out. But why is it playing? I have two matching cars. And they both only play when you press the button. See, there's no motion, there's nothing, there's no batteries, they only play when you press the button, so... Oh, cool, you can't even turn it off now. <laughs> That's fun! Why will it not turn off? Okay, now don't turn back on. <laughs> Well, anyways, mystery solved. Still, it's still extremely spooky, but... Okay. <laughs> like I'm telling you guys, there's no way I could fake this for anybody who's saying that I am. There's legitimately no way possible. So, not touching it, not... Oh my god. I just want to see how long this goes on. Okay, whew. Are you seeing that? Even my cats are like shook. Oh my god. This is terrifying. I don't even know what to even say at this point. The mystery has kind of been solved a little. Not really. <laughs> See, it's going off again. I just turned it off. I really don't want it to, like, die. But there's literally nothing I can do. It's just going to keep going off. Stop. Stop. I paid a lot of money for you. Stop. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. This is spooky. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to let it die because there's literally nothing else I can do to save it. Anyways, mystery half solved. I'm pretty sure my room's just possessed, but whatever. What can you do?